headed to the dermatologist right now to hopefully get some extractions done on the acne on my forehead. I had them done um, a couple of weeks ago for the first time and it was honestly kind of life-changing because I never really thought or really considered <laughs> getting it done. So he, the dermatologist told me that I could come back and it would help speed up the clearing up process of my forehead. I've been using a retinoid lately. So yeah, I will see you when I'm out. Okay, back at home and this is what my skin is currently looking like. It definitely looks a little bit scary, but it honestly takes like less than a week, I would say, to fully heal and you don't have any scars at the end, which is really, really nice. So that's why I decided to go back again for some more extractions. Hopefully I don't have to keep going in for more extractions and that the retinoid will do its thing and help clear up my skin. But for now, it is really nice to have it as an option. too long for me.
many adventure stores in this area and I was gonna go to all of them or at least my favorite ones but we only went to two and now we're gonna go home because I already bought so much stuff. So spring is almost here. I can definitely feel it. And whenever a new season starts, I feel like I forget how to dress for it. It takes me a while to really get into the swing of things and figure out my favorite things to wear. I just wanted to share a couple of things that I picked up for spring that I am excited about. Okay, so first up, I purchased a vintage Gucci bag and to be honest, I didn't do very much research at all. I found this style that I thought was really cute. It's a crossbody bag, so it has a pretty long strap. And I just purchased mine from a reputable eBay seller from Japan. Um, the condition is not the best. There's definitely some like tarnishing. It's still in really great shape and I think I can clean up the metal bits. For whatever reason, I've just always been really drawn to this particular like Gucci monogram style bag. And I really like the neutral colors, the fact that it has a little bit of color here. And I just wanted to find another really practical crossbody bag that I could wear every day. I also decided to get this style because I feel like this shape would actually look really cute as a shoulder bag as well. So what I think I'm gonna do is just add another hole and be able to wear it as a shoulder bag and i think it'll be super super cute next up i picked up two things from jerk avenue i own four items from jerk avenue now and i've tried four items from them so i've kept and i absolutely love each and every one of these pieces this is definitely one of my favorite brands and i really hope that i can find more brands like this where I can just go to them all the time because I absolutely trust the style and the quality and there's just going to be a really high chance that I like whatever I purchase for them. So for spring, I decided to get this mini skirt. This is a little bit of a risky purchase for me just because I haven't really worn skirts very much in the past, but I actually really, really like this skirt because it's not super fitted on me. It's not too short and it just overall feels very, very comfortable. The cut is really nice. It's not too tight around the hips or anything and the quality is nice. It has lining and I'm just really happy with this. I think once the weather warms up, this will actually be really easy to incorporate into my style. I'm planning to wear it with a lot of like looser sweatshirts and sweaters and I think it'll be a really cute, comfy, feminine, but modest little spring outfit that I'm very excited about. And then the other thing that I have been wanting for a while is the blazer from Drift Avenue. This is called the Forever Blazer and I got it in the grayish color. I've been eyeing this blazer since last summer and I finally decided to get it. I love the color. It's just like a really pretty, um, kind of like a greenish, beige-ish gray and I love this blazer because the fit is just exactly what I've been looking for. It has a really nice like broad shouldered oversized look that's a little bit boxier. I feel like this blazer is a little bit shorter than most oversized styles and it has a really nice straight cut to it so it just has a very nice kind of boxy hang on the body. I'm so so happy. Again blazers are another piece that I've always wanted to incorporate into my wardrobe but never seem to really wear very much, but I love the fit of this so much and I'm very excited to wear it this spring. And then I ended up picking up more things than I anticipated when I went vintage shopping yesterday. So first up, I think this piece is my favorite find just because I can't believe I found something like this. This is a pair of vintage Ralph Lauren cargo pants. I think these cargo carpenter utility type of pants are becoming very trendy and I'm so glad that I was able to find a vintage version. They're like the perfect size and length on me. I think I would have preferred them if the waist were a little bit bigger just because I feel like the style would be like a little bit baggier. But I still can't believe I found these pants and that they fit so well. Definitely can't wait to style these. The other thing that I picked up from Beacon's Closet is actually another Ralph Lauren piece, but I saw this oversized wool sweater and it just really <laughs> reminded me of the oversized totem sweaters that I have been seeing all season long. It is in a size 2X, so it is very oversized, but I feel like the weight of the sweater is perfect. It's nice to still tuck in, but still has a really nice drape to it. I really don't need any more tan sweaters, but I just thought this one was such a nice 
basic wardrobe essential. It's 60% merino wool, 15% cashmere, 15% angora, and 10% nylon. And it's just in such great condition. I got both of these pieces at Beacon's Closet for around $50, which I think is a great deal. And then at the second store that we went to, I ended up getting a pair of corduroy gap pants. And corduroy pants have been on my wish list for a while. I've just been kind of casually looking every time I've been going thrifting or vintage shopping. These are in a size two and I just really ended up liking how they fit. They're just, again, like the other pair of pants, a teeny bit smaller than I think I would like, but I just loved the way that they looked. And I love this color. It's kind of like a grayish taupey brown and I've been really into more like neutral, even cool toned colors lately. I love that it's still a very neutral color, but it just is something a little bit different. And then the last thing that I ended up picking up from Seven Wonders Collective, which is the second store, was this green cardigan. I just thought this was so cute and like just the right amount of funky and different and not something that you would find anywhere else. This place was a little bit more expensive. This cardigan was $68, but they have a limited amount of stuff in the store. It's not like Beacon's Closet where you have to look through racks and racks of things and everything is just really cool and curated. So I decided to get this. I think I can still style it a lot of different ways. I think it looks pretty cute with the corduroy pants like this and it even goes nicely with the Gucci bag. I could totally wear it with my mini skirt like this. That would be really cute. I think it would even look cute underneath the blazer. Oh, and this would look so, so cute with the cargo pants as well. So I'm really gonna try to make an effort to get use out of this sweater, even though it's a little bit more of a statement. And with that, I think I have some pretty good staples for the upcoming season. Time shit, time shit. Won't